Copycate, create, craft and make Paper, jewelry and challenges to break Copycate, create, craft and make Copycate, subscribe, like, comment and share Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie. I hope you are doing well. Well today I am just going to be making some labels. I am um, seem to have been running out and I am, in fact I'm going to show you that first before we do the labels. I am about to embark on uh, creating a junk journal, another junk journal. Now this one is a old book the uh impressionism and i basically gutted this book i'm just going to show you what i did i literally went through the whole went through the whole book and i have cut out all of the images that i will perhaps maybe want to use in some upcoming projects so i basically gutted that and took these images out of there um, so because of that I then had the hardcover of the book so I have decided to do a steampunk junk journal um, when I get into the pure guts of doing it then I will do like a, a probably a create with me type you know not step by step but you know just making different embellishments and things for it and I will let you know where I got all of these sort of kits from because it's a mixture of many kits so so far I've literally just printed out some of the papers and got some coffee dyed paper I've just literally it's like a preliminary four signatures so there's four signatures in there and I've strengthened up the innards of this and i want to do like a little expandable pocket and things like that so i need some more labels and all sorts of things so while i was doing that i thought well i might as well just do a little video i have got this coffee dyed paper i've got this stamp now this stamp is i got this from amazon i will link it um but you've probably I mean, this stamp has been around for ages. Uh, Tony, Crafty Tony has used it. I know Dash of Dave has used it. Um, I'm not sure if, there's, if I've seen anybody else using it. but So that is where that is from. And then all of my other stamps are literally just miscellaneous style stamps. So as you can see, I already went ahead and I've already started to stamp and cut out some of the labels some of these are haven't stamped out great for example these however i will still use them probably in a collage or something like that but they won't go in this particular box so i want to do different colors and i might even print some off the graphics fairy so if you haven't got the stamp but you are a member of the graphics fairy or i know a few people have um put free labels on their kofi i would literally just go around and see who's done what i'm sure i think was it carol carol timson i think her name is i'll link her video below but i know that she's just done a video about labels as well and she's got some free labels over on her Kofi shop so I will link that if you haven't got the stamps or um also the Tom Tom Holtz you know Tom Holtz Tim Holtz's cousin <laughs> um Tim Holtz has got the dies that emboss as well I think have I got them on there oh here lucky 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 I've got them on my desk I've just put them in here for now but yeah these ones as you can see they're beveled but they've also got a bit in there where you can you can ink that up and it would then just ink up and cut out at the same time if you don't want to do all the fussy cutting so there's another option for you so there are plenty of options for everybody out there 
I'll just leave that over there. And I've also got a whole heap of scraps here from cutting down the pages to go into that um, junk journal. So, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You ink up whatever colour you want, stamp it on your bit of paper, and away you go. So I'm just going to do a few stamps. Now, I have no idea where most of these um, stamps come from because I literally take them out of their packets when I get them just to put them all into a storage system so anything with numbers that kind of thing so this green is I've used peeled paint and for the red I used barn door um, I don't think I've done any blue yet have I no I haven't so I'm just going to ink up this number this has just got like numbers on well just do a few stampings I've got my little shimmy shim on here now if you wanted to use a Tim Holtz you could do but you'd have to line everything up and probably do it one at a time or you could actually even do it all as one I haven't tried that yet actually I suppose I could have done that but I didn't so take that off there. I'm going to go with this number here, the little bingo -y bingo number for these small ones. Like that. Put that in there. And then there's these ones here I'm gonna have a go at this one see what this looks like I mean I probably got these from Aliexpress so if you want to have a look for like numbered stamps or something like that but and I don't mind that that's gone off the edge it really doesn't bother me however if you wanted to do them like that love it would that go in there as well hmm I'll try this one too so I'll put that back on there I'll try this one this one's like a like handwritten that way isn't it Actually, what I might do is just grab that and I think I'm just going to half stamp that. So how much do you want? So we just go about there. And that just half stamp. So you don't need to use the whole stamp if you don't want to. Do we do that? I might do that one on there as well. And then we'll stamp up some different ones. In there. And in there. And then all that needs is to be cut out. So I'm just going to work on some of these little, little strips. And for that, I am going to use... Put these back. To use these ones here these are from Aliexpress put that over there put these on top and I'm going to use several different shapes that's going to be too big mm, might not be we'll try it we can only but try so what we're here for is just to have a little a play and a chat I hope everybody is okay and um, I hope everyone had a lovely bank holiday weekend I went to Wales and we went to the charity shop and I got myself some bargains I can tell you 
I got a lot of bargains. <laughs> uh, we got these that thick again, and then I can. Yeah, I got some real good bargains. I got some. I got a tin that's shaped like a book. I'll probably do a haul at some point. The only thing there wasn't very many books, like as in um, old-fashioned books, you know, vintagey style books. So somebody up there must be uh, must be buying them all. Let me change that now because it's getting a bit big. So. Yeah, there wasn't very many. Uh, let me go for this. I'm sure I've got another um, loads of stamps with labels on. But anyway, and then I'll do some different colours. So this is what I usually do with my strips: is just stamp up labels and things and then they're not going to waste then are they and it means you can sort of sit there if you're watching your youtube if you're watching tim holtz if you're watching i don't know me anybody <laughs> then you can just mass make with them can't you let's do some more green i think on there I'm using peeled paint oh, I don't know what that is on there peeled paint and I like the fact that it's quite blotchy so it's not you know it gives it still gives it that vintage look that we are going for with this one here with the angles on so but yeah you can get loads of blank labels from all kinds of places that's still dirty um as i say i know the graphics fairy have got labels on there um and numerous creators have Put them on there, Kofi, as I say. There are many ways to. Well, I was going to say something, but I won't. But I'm sure you know the uh, the saying. Uh, do a few more green, and then I'll perhaps do we'll stamp inside, and then. So I'm just literally making up labels with scraps as well. So don't forget to use up your scraps. Now I try, I mean, I'm not saying I'm very successful, but I do tend to try and use up my scraps as I'm making them. So because I've cut all of those papers down for that scrapbook, I'm trying to use them and then they're not kicking about and then they don't end up in the recycling bin so I'm just trying to just trying to be a little bit more economical about how I use my scraps and papers and things like that so and I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Hello and thank you for coming over here and joining me. Um, and to those who keep coming back, thank you very much. And yeah, I just hope everyone's all right. See, perfect. All done. I mean, what more do you want? I have got some other numbers somewhere here now. So I might even... Oh, actually, we've got one here. Look, it's already here. Let's go with this. This says number five. So 
and I'll put that in there. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Do I even need to bring you in a bit closer? Yeah, I've got um, the tape that's in the middle of that journal. I picked that up from Wilco's because Wilco's is closing, well, was closing down. I don't know if it is now. So I just went in there and bought a whole load of stuff. It does help if I'm in shop, doesn't it, really? Ah, so we've got that last one. What can I do in there? Those numbers aren't long enough. I've got, I've got a whole load of stamps next to me, so that's all that's left. Oh, there they are. Oh, don't roll back, because you'll roll back onto that. I've got some bigger ones here, but I think they're too big for, for the scraps. So, put that in there. I think it's just going to have to be another one of them, but I might do it in red. Just something a little bit different. A little bit different. Um, oh, I quite like that. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? With the red. So, yeah, I do quite like that. Okay then, so let's do some of these green. I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it with the red. Looks like we are. Like that. Like that. Um, like that. So change that out. I'm going to use... And what next? Next one. Next. Do we partially just do that bottom one? Yeah, why? Why not? Why not? I'm just literally going to put it like that on the on the stamp. How am I going to do this? No, that's... Oh, how am I going to do this? Yeah, it is that way, isn't it? No, that way. And then all I'm going to do is ink up that bit and place... Yes, that on there says another strip. And it's just a great way, as I say, just to use up your scraps get you thinking a little bit more creatively and you don't have to use all of your stamp as I say I like it I like it right so I'm going to cut these up and probably sit here and, and do all of these rest the rest of these and then I will be back
so that's me finished cutting them all up and this is what we're left with so it's a really good way as i say to use up your scraps it's also a good way if you have lost your mojo or anything like that then just literally get your stamps out get your prints out get your scraps out lay them out on the table and then just have a good old stamping session cutting out session you know and you can make yourself your own embellishments plus you've mass made you're ready to go for a project and also it looks amazing in your stash so thank you so much for watching i will link all of the videos that have inspired me just to do this little video as i was saying i am doing or just beginning to get together bits and pieces for a steampunk junk journal so that is where i basically started to uh, think right i need to get a few more embellishments so i think what i'm going to do is probably do like a little bit of a series and start making up some embellishments for that said junk journal and then i shall we'll put the whole thing together and see how it all turns out but thank you so much for watching have a great day and i will see you on the next one bye, bye.